okay so let's just start demo first of that uh, .NET Aspire cloud native app okay and here you will see that here is a two project of if you see this project section so you will see this product and store so product is our know backend services okay if you little bit more over here so this is a backend services if you open this so this is our uh, api which is returning our json response okay and there is a front end api as well that is a store so once i click over here once i product so that product should be load over here okay so those things actually will implement with this asp.net aspire which is a new things coming in our .net 8 in our preview so let's get start uh, implementation how we can implement those things okay so let's open for visual studio first okay now uh, create a new project now looking for aspire okay now once you uh, filter out over here you will be able to see this two template okay one is dotnet aspire application and one in one is another one is in dotnet aspire started application so this will give us the you know blueprint of this application so how is that you know uh, that front end and back end and how is our aspire you know coordinate with this front end and back end okay so this will give us just a sample things okay and this is another things which is we can implement in our application okay so we don't need to go with this application but yeah i'll just show you because we need this template okay so if it is not available in your in your uh, visual studio so what you need to do you need to install one workload okay so how we can do that let me open our existing project and go to your tools open uh, get tools and features and now what you need to do just check check this asp.net web application and web development and here when you expand over here web application uh, web development so you will see yes this one first one okay let me zoom in for you so this should be checked okay so if you install dotnet 8 so it it will allow to you know check and uncheck okay so make sure you have installed dotnet 8 and also you can just install directly visual studio as well so how we can do that you can just go here available and install modify or whatever your visual studio so just you can just modify an individual component and you can install via check this dotnet 8 okay so there is a way okay so once it's done uh, asp.net uh, uh, .net aspire is installed properly so then what you need to do just open any uh, existing project okay so i'm just opening my existing project this is my existing project which is have a backend okay so this is a backend uh, which is returning if you go to product endpoint so it is just simple state forward it is just returning a product of list it's have actually many endpoint like insert update delete but yeah as of now we're just using this uh, get endpoint only okay so this is a minimal api we are using as well as this is a front end web application with the dot net blazor okay blazor blazor application and with web assembly so it is also we have a two component one is home component another is a product component let me learn and see like how's look like this project so without dotnet aspire include okay so this is a fresh application existing application which have a front end and back end okay but we have to create this application in our you know uh, cloud native application and make sure uh, just choose choose both uh, product uh, both front end and back end uh, you know project to multiple projects okay so that it's once you start it should be uh, it should be run in your local okay so now it's run okay and also api should be run okay now see api also running in my local okay so this is a get endpoint and it is returning the product list okay and this product list also i just consume in our web application to whatever product uh, api returning i just get it from here and retrieve, retrieve in our uh, list okay so those are product i am showing over here okay and if you go to implementation i'll show you like 
how is that getting that list okay so if you go to product list in the product list actually i just consume uh, this product service and this product service actually calling this get endpoint uh, get method go to implementation and this get method actually calling the http call and calling our api okay and it is just returning our as a list and this list be bind over in this uh, component okay so this is straightforward okay now now how we can implement that sp.net dot uh, net s aspire okay so let's get to start that one first just stop everything make sure our application is working properly coordinate with api and backend okay once it's done then what you need to do first let me zoom in first you have to choose your front end okay so just choose front end application right click on the add and go to that options dot net aspire orchestra support right so if you click this one so it will show you the one pop-up message one pop-up dialog box okay and here let me zoom in for you again it is just showing as a uh, project name in this framework is this and also this is the locations okay and now see these two project will be created and added in your solution okay so that is important actually this is actually just creating our uh, cloud native app uh, project this will coordinate with our you know uh, back end and front end everything will set up in this project okay and this is a default uh, services which is handling all the services okay so let me okay press the okay and now show you okay now see once you done once you done let me zoom in one more time see in previously what we have we have only just our project right like our backend and front end and my entities right but now it is added one more project this is a app host and another one is service defaults okay so let me look and what is that let me sh show you okay so if you open this default uh, services if you go to extension so these are all the extension which is just you know uh, register in this extension method okay now there's a many extension like healthcare health check alive okay there's a many many extensions okay so we are not going to uh, more details on that because this is just a extension method we have just registered whatever we required okay and now go to that uh shop dot host host application okay if you go to that program dot cs file see they just created a new uh, project okay like for example builder dot add project and that whatever our project name this project name as a entity and then just create a name right so this is a name actually just created our your ui application so this is our ui application which is calling why this name okay so that is one need to do uh, this is a first step we have to do over here so also i'll show you the git changes whatever changes we have done just adding this uh, aspire supports okay so once you adding over here so see the this this solution has been added okay and also the as uh, app hosts host uh, project also added but as well as what you see over here see uh, if you click this program.cs file so see automatically in the program.cs file this add service default you know services has been added in your front end project okay that is required actually okay that's why it is automatically added if it is not added then what we have to do we have to manually add this add service dot defaults project which is coming from our this one uh, this one is a service defaults right if you go to extension so this is that name right add service default so that need to add in our uh, front end application okay so once you add so it is automatically added actually we don't worry about that it is added automatically and one more things actually is added i'll show you again dot go to program dot cs we'll see map dot default endpoint so also whatever the default endpoints they also include 
in our project okay which is a uh, front end project okay this two th things we have to record and this is automatically added we don't need to do anything okay so now what need to what need to do next uh, now I need to create one more uh, support actually one more uh, aspire support required on this backend project as well so right click on that again go to that a aspire orchestra support and then click on that now see it's now this time asking it it is already we have that project right in this solution uh, which is already created that as app dot host right so that will be edit this another orchestration right so click on that once you done uh, go to again here if you will see now see that another project also will add it right so it is automatically added another one also for this backend and same things uh, if you go to here and that program.cs file for backend okay now see again it is adding this add dot service default as well as that uh, map product endpoint right uh, map default endpoint so these two things all the whatever project you have tried to orchestration that two things will be added by default okay now what need to do next uh, if you go to that program dot app host okay so now this is our front end project okay let me call it right front end okay and this is a back end okay so back back end project okay so now what i need to do um, my front end project is you know uh, dependent this back end project right because we are using http client and that http client call to this uh, you know api and that api return to back in our here right so this is our flow so what i need to do i just write uh, down uh, from this backend project over here and then I just store over here where uh, backend okay and store as a variable okay whatever our uh, extension we have store as a variable and then what I will do I just adding as a reference okay with the reference with the reference over here and here just pass to whatever your dependency right so this is dependency of backend to front end so i just specify over here similar we have another dependency like suppose we have using some uh, cache redis cache and other other uh, api as well so those also you can just orchestration that one and you can just with this another uh, with reference because uh, with reference with the reference and you can use those one those also okay it is not only just i can use only one project okay if it is money dependency so you can use that just for demonstration i'll just show you okay so this is done now what need to do uh, the last step is whatever your uh, if you go to our json file in our client you know client project okay so client project right now it's calling this uh, you know local host of this uh, this uh, port right so we don't require this port and local host okay because now we have configured in our cloud cloud native app okay his name is like that okay so this is our api name okay so let me refresh let me you know replace this to our api name okay replace to our api name okay that's it so right now whatever our endpoint we calling our you know uh, in our calling list our api endpoint so that we have to replace with uh, whatever is generated orchestration right so orchestration generate our uh, api name is as a product so whatever name you can just define as well like it is not uh, no project specific like okay whatever is generating so you can keep it same no you can just change it whatever you just want whatever you want right so whatever you want you can just change it over here but make sure it should not have space i think without space is required so like that okay so as of now i just keep it whatever was there okay now 
and finally let me build let me rebuild and make sure it is uh, there is a no issue okay so now let me run and see okay so once you run it will allow it will show you the what another pop-up message okay so start docker desktop so if you want to run in the docker desktop so you can just create yes if you know so you can just know so as of now i just press it's no so but yeah later upcoming session will show you like uh, with the docker as well okay now see it is running with this two port uh two listening port like this is a local host 51168 and then 16228 okay and as well as you will see see now is running our cloud native app okay and if you you will see this dashboard it will allow to dashboard as well so once you click the dashboard you will see whatever project is running that's orchestration so that you will see over here as well as you can see your endpoints okay so now see it is running our API on this local host and this one, okay? But they will manage. We don't manage over there, right? We a will automatically manage these things, whatever your uh, application, okay? And once you click this product, now it's running and returning back your data as well as just running to a uh, front-end project. Now front-end is running. If you click that product, so now product also running okay and but it is managed in this uh, .NET aspire orchestration right so also many many things you can able to see over here like see if you see if you using any container so those container also you will to see over here and then executable things also you are able to see here and then if you talk about some logs so whatever project logs suppose you choose this this uh, API project so API project also see whatever logs it's showing here like for example I just recall again two three times and if you go back now see whatever time to hits so it is just execute and return back right so whatever logs you want you are able to see as well here same things you can just manage your other logs like client log as well over here and uh, see then if you see the container if any container so in your project so that container also i will to see based on this here and then executable things and then structural things now structure it is like like whatever request you sending like if you sending the request of your front end and back end so whatever things like see everything is here right so informations whatever you know uh, calling it things here so everything is just logged in the structure logged okay also you can just filter over here and also if you click the trace so this is a trace also logged over here like uh, which when it's calling the front end when it's called the back end and once once it's called together like front end and back ends also if you click the view so how much taking times okay those also things it will show over here okay so you can manage over here also you can see the matrix so i don't think as of now any matrix but yeah uh, yes so nothing is there but yeah this is a very nice things okay which is coming from uh, .NET 8 uh, with the preview okay please uh, try with this okay if any issue any challenges so let me know and if you record this uh, this repository so you can you can take it uh, from my github link okay, so this is my uh, that repository okay we are that as uh, a sample app and this sample app you can just use it to uh, that uh, orchestration of that sp.net uh, aspire with cloud native app that's it for now and uh, thanks for watching don't forget to subscribe like and share